So this is Penny. Penny's helping clear the yard and soil of insects, but mainly worms, because that's her favourite haunt. Hunting ground is for worms. So this is the one that we thought was initially a cockerel, because it started crowing, but now lays green eggs. And follows Jill around like it was a long lost pet. Hmm. As you can see, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment. So we're trying to clean it up now. After the year's growth, so everything's grown here from tomato plants, which you can't really see, but I'll move down. Some tomatoes. Show them the self-grown ones. These are the self-grown, self tomatoes. They've all come up in this sort of, um, sort of nice little droopy sort of look about them, but some haven't. Some are darker, but they're quite attractive as a tomato itself, and they come ripe. Nice little bite size, an absolutely beautiful taste to them. My faves. And as you can see, everything from apple trees growing there in the distance. Uh, potatoes, right the way through. The various bits there was a cucumber, now it's gone into a Cape gooseberry. Thai, um, basil. Keep an eye on Penny. A few other trees, some nice grown, growing stuff. For the winter, cabbages and um, calvaneros and stuff. Already showing signs of butterfly attack. Need to sort that out. And there's my uh, my prize um, begonias. And then a few plants which were supposed to have planted, Aussie plants, but onto the bank. But we haven't got there to clean it up yet. And the banks. A bit of a mess. So that's another chop for the autumn. And uh, protea. Protea is about eight foot high and about six to eight foot wide. And the twoies love it. Absolutely love it. There we go. It was all about this creature. Still pecking away there. It doesn't lay me enough eggs. They're the best eggs. <laughs> 